If you're a freelancer or small business owner, you know how annoying paper signatures can be. Trying to keep track of these documents and save them for years is a big hassle that you don't have to go through. That's why there's Eversign. This free tool that lets you handle electronic signatures makes things simpler, easier, and is legally enforceable and secure, and it's a perfect fit for your small business. Head on over to Eversign's website and you can make an account for free. Just provide some basic info, like your business's name and address and email address, and you'll be ready to jump over to your dashboard. Now our dashboard provides us with a lot of basic information about our account, but the first thing we should do is go ahead to our signature page. Here you'll be able to see that we have both a default signature and initial set. And if we come up here to add new, we can create a new one. Now you have three options when you're creating a new signature with Eversign. First, you can type out your name and then choose a handwritten font from below that most looks like your real signature. Your next option is to draw your signature using your mouse or your computer's touch screen if you have one. And then finally, you can upload a signature. So if you'd like to write it out on a piece of paper and then scan it into your PC and then just save it as an image file, you can do that too. Once that's done, we can take another look at the dashboard, which quickly shows us how many documents that are waiting on our signature, how many documents that we are waiting for other people to sign, and then because we're on the free account, how many documents we have left until we have to wait for next month's allocation. So obviously we want to create documents when we're using the service, so if we come over here into the documents page, we can come up here and click on new document. Now you have a few options here depending on whether you're making a document for yourself, something that you're going to sign and other people, maybe like a new hire agreement, and then others only if it's like a non-disclosure agreement or some kind of waiver. So you can choose your files here. Uh, we'll just drop this uh, basic waiver document in. And then you can pick uh, who you want to have sign it. So you can fill out uh, names and emails for as many people as you want here and their roles. And then add a title and message if you like to that the person will see when you send that email out. So once that's done, we can go ahead and click prepare after we type someone's name in. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and prepare our document. Give it just a moment here, and Eversign will pull in the document that we've provided. Now, you have fields over on the right here that let you quickly drag and drop common elements. So, obviously, we want to get the signature, so we can just go ahead and drop that where we like. Our full name in our field, it says I full name. We can drop that on. And then finally, the date, we can go ahead and pull that right over. Now, this is a simple form, so that's all you would need, but you also have options for initials, some custom text, company name, or even check boxes and drop down boxes. Once we're done, we can go ahead and click send, and that'll send off our document uh, to the recipient that we provided. Then they'll just get an email saying, hey, this business has asked that you sign this document. They'll click sign and then use their signature just like we did where they type in their name and change it to a handwritten font or something like that. Once they're done, they click send back and it'll pop up over here in our documents library. We go over to all and you can see something that I did in here earlier. So Eversign's free plan lets you send up to five documents per month. If you need more, you can upgrade to the basic or professional plans, which allow you to use templates, even add team members if you have more people at your business, and even in-person signing if you need that for sensitive legal documents. So overall, Eversign's feature set is it's customizable, but it's really easy to use. Uh, and if you're looking for a very basic um, document sending to, system to use where you don't need a whole lot every month. Eversign is a great way to do that and it's free if you only use it a little bit every month.